everybody. Welcome to a brand new week on House of Games. I say it's a brand new week. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's a repeat. I don't know. What year is it where you are? Oh, it's a new one. It's a new one. That's good news. I've got four brand new players, all of whom want to win this trophy at the end of the week. But who are they? They are Gareth Thomas, <laughs> Olga Koch, Rita Chakrabarti, and Andrew Maxwell. Welcome one, welcome all. We have a professional rugby player here, Olga, not Olga, <laughs> Gareth. <laughs> Gareth, a rugby legend. Off. Oh, thank you. I but blush. it makes you competitive, right? Listen, what it makes me is competitive, it doesn't make me a winner. Like, I love competition, I yes. love being a part of things, but I'm okay if I lose, especially when it's not my, like, my field. I'm going to play that clip back to you on Friday. <laughs> when you said, like, Do you know what the thing about me is, I'm okay if I lose. That's, uh, <laughs> that's just my personality type, that's who I am. Olga, we have a double-edged sword here. You're a stand-up comedian and they tend to do very well, but you're Russian. So where does that leave us in terms of general knowledge? I just know that I'm not here to make friends. <laughs> oh, now you're talking. This is not best friend house of games, OK? <laughs> Excellent. Rita, so when I do pointless and things like that, people go, oh, you must learn so much. But I forget it all. You've done so many millions of stories, but it goes out that one is, ear out the that other. That is right? the trouble, isn't yeah. it? It's really important on the day, and then the next day you've forgotten. Our problem, Rita, too much information. Too clever. That's our problem. Too clever. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, we're too clever. Too clever. <laughs> uh, Andrew, another stand-up comedian. How are you feeling? Who do you think your big rivals are this week? Everybody. Yeah, I think exactly. it's, it's going to be a challenge. Uh, Andrew, at the end of every episode, we know at the end of the week someone's winning this trophy, but at the end of every show there is a daily prize as well. Ooh. OK, Ooh. shall we take a look at today's daily Ooh. prizes? This is what you get to choose between. Whoever wins today could <laughs> win. Plant pot, that's new. The golf umbrella, the cricket bats, the fondue set, or the reusable coffee mug. We've gone quite green this series. Mm. Uh, what would you go for, Gareth, if you were to win? Without a shadow of doubt, a fondue. Olga, what would you go for? I'm getting the fondue set. Fondue as well, Rita? I'll get something else. I'll get the umbrella, cos we live in Britain and it rains all Ooh, the time. That, nice. Andrew? My dad's a huge cricket fan. I think that would be pretty impressive. Fondue set. <laughs> Fondue set, yeah. <laughs> to, to watch the cricket with. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> shall we get on and play our first round on the first day of this week's House of Games? Yeah. Uh, wish you yeah. all very, very best of luck. Our first round today is going to be... Prime time, nice traditional Monday opener. Fingers on buzzers, everyone. I'm going to show you two questions at a time. The answers rhyme with each other. OK? Here's your first one. Fictional egg distributing rabbit and Harry Enfield's cash waving character. Rita. Easter bunny, loads of money. Easter bunny, loads of money. Is the right answer. Well done, Rita. Lovely start. Uh, here's your next one. Six foot seven inch footballer known for dancing the robot and grumpy green muppet who lives in a trash can. That is Gareth. Peter Crouch. Grouch. Need a tiny bit more. E. Grouchy. <laughs> Crou crouchy and grouchy. Yeah. Um, mm, mm. Andrew. Uh, 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 Peter Crouch, Oscar the Grouch. Peter Crouch, Oscar the Grouch is the answer. You yeah. nicked that off me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do, little fella? Right. <laughs> Game on, bring it on. OK, here we go. Here's your next one. Who is this? And what is this? <laughs> Olga. Vin Diesel Weasel. Is it Vin Diesel Weasel? <laughs> oh, well played. Oh, yeah. Vin Diesel and Weasel, well played. Olga, next question. Region of China that was ruled by the UK until 1997. And what is the title of this song? Ooh, that dress so scandalous. Olga. Hong Kong Thong Song. Hong Kong Thong Song? Oh, how much fun is that to say wow. as well? That was fun. That was fun I, to say. I'll tell you what, Olga, not everyone who comes on the show gets to say Hong Kong Thong Song. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your next question. Nursery rhyme where a dish runs away with a spoon. And US sitcom starring Frankie Muniz and Brian Cranston. Uh, cow jumped over the moon. Uh, Malcolm in the middle. <laughs> it's, it's not, I'm afraid. You've fallen foul of the rhyming rule there, uh, Andrew. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Rita. 
Hey diddle diddle, Malcolm in the middle. Now that's how you steal oh, an answer. Ah, that, well yeah. Played, Reece, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey diddle diddle, Thank Malcolm you. in the middle. <laughs> Very well played. Well done if you got that at home. Next question. Labour Party leader between 2010 and 2015 and UK number one by the Beatles about minor physical contact. Yes, Rita. Ed Miliband, I want to hold your hand. Oh, must oh, be. That's well amazing. played, Rita. Ed Miliband, I want to hold your hand. Final question in this round. Tax form issued to an employee who leaves a company. And what is the title of this song? Gareth. P45, survive, I will survive. P45, I will survive? Yeah. <laughs> He's only yeah. picked up a point. Well done, Gareth. <laughs> Beautifully done. Do you know what? Genuinely, it's probably the best for all of us that he got a point. <laughs> and to Gloria Gaynor. Yeah. Like, come on, please. What a day you're having oh, already. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Let's take a look at our first leaderboard, shall we? Uh, and here's how we stand. Gareth and Andrew, you have one point each. Olga, you got two. Our early leader, Rita, with three oh. points. Well played, oh. Rita. <laughs> so let's do another round, shall we? Our next round is going to be... Just think the average as it's round two. It's a pairs round. The player in last place gets to choose their partner. Andrew and Gareth, you're both in last place. Gareth, why don't you uh, choose your partner for this game? Because I've always wanted to sit next to her. Can I choose Rita? Of Aww. course you can have Rita. I love her. She's lush. So, <laughs> so Gareth and Andrew, if you'll swap places, please. No offence to anyone else. Oh, I'm very touched, Gareth. <laughs> Thank you. So, Gareth, you swap places with Andrew, please. Gareth and Rita are a team. Andrew and Olga, team stand up here. Tablets out, please. Uh, distinctly average, I'll um, ask you a series of questions. You need to write down an estimate of the answer. Ooh. Okay, but each pair's answer will be an average of your two answers. Here's your first one. I wonder if you could give me a number for this, please. Oh, the UK's best selling song of 2020 was streamed how many times during the year? So if you could all write down your answers, please, what do you think at home on this one? It used to just be record sales, didn't it, in the old days, and now it's all done on uh, record sales and streaming. OK, everybody is in. Have you got an answer at home? I hope so. Andrew, what was your thinking and what is your answer? Well, I think uh, people stream music a lot more than they buy music. I think so too. <laughs> so, I do think so. So I think it's, it's a preposterously high number. The number I have come with is 20 Millions. 20 million, says Andrew. Olga, you've gone up or down from 20 million? I'm going up with 50. 50 million. Yeah. So I can work out your average, which is 35 million, you're saying. It's definitely a big number, isn't it? Got to be. Because streaming is like, you know, there's millions and millions. Rita, what were you thinking? Well, I'm much lower than that. Okay. I've gone for 2 million. Gareth, up or down from 2 million? I've gone up, and my concern is I spent a million wrong. I don't know if it's double L's in a million. Oh, well, I'm afraid I can't take your That's answer right. then if you spelt million. All right, okay. <laughs> so, right. so sorry. So I got 12 and a half. 12 and a half million, you spelt million absolutely correctly. Oh, did it? Oh, so, oof. So your average, Rita and Gareth, is seven and a quarter million. So we've got 35 million, we've got seven and a quarter million. What do you think at home on this one? I can tell you, do you want to know what the best selling song of 2020 was? It was Blinding Lights by uh, The Weeknd. But how many times was it streamed in 2020 and who has won the point? <gasps> 250 oh, million. Oh, I was okay. wow. Wow. I'm so sorry. Oh. 250 oh, wow. million. Who would think? So you get the point even though you're 215 million out. Shall we take a look at our next one? I wonder if you can give me an answer to this. In kilograms, what is the heaviest weight ever successfully deadlifted? Oh, I'm not good with kilograms. Right, I'm feeling the pressure on this one. Yeah, you should, you should have a good answer for this, really. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go to Gareth last. Feels like he's a deadlifter. So we'll start with you two. Olga, what was your thinking here? 300 kilograms. That sounds like a lot. I mean, in stones, that would be about 47 stone. Andrew, up or down from 300? Uh, just fractionally down. OK. To 250. 250. So you're thinking much the same thing. Here is your average. 275 kilos, about 43 stone, that is 275 kilos. Rita, what were you thinking here? I know you're a deadlifting professional. Well, c'est moi, how did you guess? <laughs> so I've done just the same. Whoa, OK. Gareth, do you mm. know what you can deadlift? Well, put it this way, if that's the heaviest, I meant in the world book of records, cos I can do that. <gasps> oh! 
Oh, you can lift 45 stone. Yeah, 200 kilograms. Really, you can do that. Yeah. Easy. Let's find out what the answer is first, yeah. and I'll tell or, you if I can do it. And then he'll off. deadlift each of us one <laughs> by one. <laughs> no, all four of us put together. <laughs> uh, so, Gareth, uh, I what, always mess up. My what, good. What, what have you said is your answer? So, I've gone for 1,000 kilograms. Oh, wow. Yeah. Right? People have lifted cars and yeah. stuff. You like look at them strong men. Yeah, of like course. they lift them stones. They're yeah. pulling airplanes. That is 157 stone. Um, let's take a look at your average oh, meter and Gareth. Your average is 625. Oh, they I have think it. we're all right with right, kilograms. Yeah. All right. Gareth sounds like he knows what he's talking about. Yeah, a thousand was... sounds a bit much for me, but he, he definitely sounds like he knows what he's talking about. What do you think at home? Where have you gone on this one? What is the heaviest weight ever successfully deadlifted? Oh. Five. One oh, kilograms. Oh. 80 stone. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. the guy from Game of Thrones uh, set the world record. How full Bjornsson. Right. Five. I'm thinking maybe I can't do 275. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it was pounds, <laughs> not I mean, kilograms. Maybe it was. 501 kilograms, That's Gareth. And Rita, get the point there. Very close in the end, your yes. average between the two of you. Very nicely done. Final question in this round. How many episodes of Coronation Street had William Roach appeared in as the character Ken Barlow up to the end of January 2021? Hmm. How many Are times you counting on your fingers, on? Gareth? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to start. No, hold on. I was going to start. He's that one. Is that... Yeah, two. This He's may take that a one. while. <laughs> Is it big in Russia, Olga, Coronation Street? <laughs> That's yes. <laughs> right. We just oh, got it in God. Russia. So. Oh, really? Excellent. Well, you are going to love Ken Barlow. <laughs> OK, everybody is in. What do you think at home on this one? How many episodes of Cory was Ken Barlow in? Rita, what were you thinking and what's your answer? So I have gone quite high, probably. 7,000. 7,000. 7, uh, that doesn't sound crazy. Gareth, are you going up or down from seven? Well, if that doesn't sound crazy, this will sound crazy. <laughs> I didn't have a clue. OK. I went 20,000, 20, cos it just seems like... I'd always been on it from the start, and I, I got lost after five days a week, and I'm trying to add up the rest. I mean, that would be an episode a day for 60 years. But uh, who knows? And your average is 13,500. Okay. That's not bad. That's all right. Might be there. Andrew, are you lower than that? I have gone, in hindsight, extremely tight fisted with this one. Thousand. A thousand. Thousand. Yeah. Olga, what do you think? Up or down? I've also lowballed it. Uh, I don't know who he is, though I have the utmost respect uh, for him. Oh, uh, 3,000? 3,000. OK. Uh, your average, I think. We'll put it into the supercomputer. 2,000. So we've got 13,500 and we've got 2,000. Shall we find out how many episodes has he appeared in and who has won the points? <gasps> 4,007. <laughs> 4,007. Oh, so... Olga and Rita. Uh, no, both pretty well, close. I'm, I'm yeah, yeah. Too. That's the average of about 65 oh. episodes a year since 1960. Oh, just coasting, really. Uh, yeah, <laughs> isn't he just? Oh. That is the end of that round. Tablets away, everybody. Gareth and Andrew, I wonder if you could swap back places, please. Gareth, welcome back. Good feel like I back. found out an awful lot more about you during that round. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at the scores, shall we? Two rounds down on Monday's House of Games. Gareth, you have two points. Andrew, three. It's super close there. Look at that at the top. Olga and Rita, four points each. Wow, wow that's cool. <laughs> two points between a lot of you. Three rounds to go. Our third round today is... Well done if you said that at home. This is a round that our viewers at home help us out with. We sent our viewers at home the name of some films and they had to send us back a word they would associate with that film. What you're going to see is a word cloud of the words they most mentioned, starting with the least mentioned all the way up to the words they mentioned the most. So what are these films, please? Fingers on buzzers. Our viewers are giving you clues to films. What film is this? Suffragette London. Thank British. Yes, that is Andrew. Mary Poppins. Oh, that's a quick buzz. Let's take a look. Is it Mary Poppins? Wow! Yeah, look Ooh. at that. Oh, my word. Even I'd have got it from Nanny, Umbrella and Chimney. It's, uh, <laughs> suffered at London and back, well played, Andrew. Thank Mary you. Poppins. Oh, mate, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your next film. What film is this, please? Bogey. Relationship school. Chet Helmets. 
OK, could be anything. Like volleyball. Uh, it, name's it, Andrew. It, 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 uh, top. Top. I might have to time you out. I'm so sorry, Andrew. Top wing! Back time you out! <laughs> Gareth. Top gun. <laughs> Is it Top Gun? He's the jackal's yeah, done it again. Back. <laughs> Mate, what you reap, you sow. <laughs> Absolutely yeah. right. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I just had Top Gear in my head. <laughs> you did so much of the heavy lifting there. <laughs> I just <laughs> couldn't get gear Well top. played, Gareth. Yes! Nice to Here's your next film. Hickey. Cool cardigan. Oh, hello, Gareth. Grease. Is it Greece? That's a very early buzz. Oh! It is Greece. Well done. <laughs> how, about, how about that? Uh, school musical Lightning Cars, beautifully done. Um, the next thing we asked our viewers to uh, give us clues to were there's some books. So we asked them to give us some words they'd associate with these books. But what books are these, please? Concord. Country, hair, family, father, autobiographical, heartbreak. Could be virtually any book, couldn't it, this mm, so far? Yeah. Writing. Oh, thanks. thanks, everyone at home. She was. American classic. Small sisters. Yes, Rita. Little women. Is that correct? It is correct. Well done. Small American sisters essentially sums American up what little uh, women is. Lovely. Well done. Here's your next book. Sport. Heatwave. Mm. Egg. Car. Romance again. Yes, Olga. Great Gatsby. Oh, is it The Great Gatsby? Well played. Great Gatsby, 1920s party. It's set on egg, isn't it? That's the yeah. egg oh, creamy. It's egg. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Very nicely done. The Great Gatsby. Well done if you said that at home. Last book. Last question in this round. Sands. London. Hmm. Crime suspense. It sounds like a good book. Mansion. Curse. Murder. Scary. No kidding, scary. Victoria Mystery. Oh. Andrew. Uh, Hound of the Baskervilles. Ooh. Hound of the Baskervilles. Well played is Hound of the Baskervilles. Detective Dog Moores. Well played. That's the end of that round. Thank you so much at home for sending those in as well. Um, let's take a look at the scores. I feel like it's going to be quite close. Oh, oh look at that. that. Oh. Gareth, just one point off the lead, but in last place. Four points and five points for everyone else. Mm. Who is going to win, I wonder? Two rounds to find out. Round four today is... Where is Kazakhstan? Tablets out, please. We're going to put a map on your tablet. We're going to ask you to find various places. Oh. OK? Mm. Let's take a look at your map today. And it is Europe. The first thing I would like you to find is this, please. The capital of the EU member state that produces the most chocolate. There's a couple of sort of obvious candidates, aren't there? But Hmm. I, oh, think okay. I think it's the volume. Mm. The volume. The You've volume of chocolate. Most chocolate. OK, everybody is locked in. What do you think at home on this one? Gareth, what were you thinking the answer might be? So I thought potentially being Belgium. That's one of the... Yeah, 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 yeah. but because I didn't know where Belgium was, Okay. I thought I knew where Switzerland was and I thought... Maybe Switz Switzerland. Oh, chocolate. that's good. I had yeah. Belgium and Switzerland in my head. Now, I think I know where Switzerland was. Let's I thought, because I've been skiing. We'll take a little look on the map, see and where I you are. And I know it's near France. So I went for the... Switzerland. Is it Switzerland? Beautiful, yeah. You're in Switzerland. Yeah. Olga, what were you thinking the answer might be? I found Belgium. OK. And but do you now... know where Belgium is? I think I do. I hope I do. Let's find out where Olga Do I? Is. You do. That's Belgium. Oh, well done. <laughs> this is unprecedented in the next round. Two people actually know where countries are. What's <laughs> <laughs> going on? Uh, Rita, what was your thinking? So mine was either Switzerland or Belgium, Switzerland, and I went yeah. for Belgium. Got very Belgium. unoriginal. Andrew, what were you thinking? Well, uh, Switzerland and Belgium are two of the most famous chocolatiers of Europe. Yep. Switzerland is not in the EU. Belgium <gasps> is, is the capital of the EU. 
Uh, I've got Brussels. Oh, he's done us there, hasn't he? Knowledge yeah, but, is power, my friend. Yeah, but you see, I don't know. I've got Belgium. So, OK, let's take a look at where Andrew is. Belgium as well. So, if it's Belgium, we're going to give away three points, I think, to everyone. Let's take a look. Um, which country and what's the capital produces the most chocolate? <gasps> Germany. Oh, Germany is the answer. Oh. Uh, I've got to give them all the point there, Gareth. I'm so Why? Sorry. They because they're right. closest. All you've got to be is closest. That's Game on. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> they were all closest. Berlin. Um, the next thing we're looking for. The city where Torven and Dean won Olympic gold in 1984. Oh. What's the answer and then where is that answer? Because that would have been the Winter Olympics, right? Yeah. Oh, hmm. oh man. Oh, dear. I'm in trouble here. Hmm. OK. Olga, did you know the answer to this one? I didn't even know that it was the Winter Olympics, but then you, Rita, <laughs> keep my mouth shut. That was helpful. Gave me a little clue. Not that it, I don't know if it helped or not. So I was like, they need mountains to ski down, and so I put it in somewhere in France, uh, in the Alps, hopefully. Take a look where Olga is. French Swiss border. That's mountainous. That that's. I mean, if Torvald and Dean were skiers, you'd be laughing. <laughs> uh, Rita, did you know the answer to this one? I didn't know the answer. I do know that they're ice skaters rather than skiers. I mean, they still have to do it in the... In but they've still yeah, got to do it somewhere yeah. cold. Yeah. So I've gone for somewhere cold in Scandinavia. Ah, OK. Which I was hoping was Helsinki. Almost exactly where Helsinki is. You are, you okay. are still allowed to read the news, Richard. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> My honour is saved. Andrew, do you know the answer to this one? I think Sarajevo had a Winter Olympics in the 1980s. But also, Turin's had a Winter Olympics and, you know, Sarajevo being Bosnia is not too far away from Austria. They've had two Winter Olympics, so I was just trying to cluster them. Ah, yes. gone between the two, have you? Let's take a look where Andrew is. You're in Bosnia and Herzegovina there. Mm. OK, which is where Sarajevo is. Mm -hmm. Gareth, what are you thinking? I, it's Sarajevo. I think it's Sarajevo. It's Sarajevo. Right? Yeah. So I've gone over by Russia. Take a look I think. where Gareth is. Belarus. I think we've established that Sarajevo is the right answer. We've established that it's in Bosnia and Herzegovina, and I gave away that Andrew was in Bosnia and Herzegovina. So this reveal has less jeopardy than I would normally like. <laughs> uh, let's take a look. Who is dead on? Andrew Maxwell. Very well played. Can't get too much closer than that. Last one in this round. I wonder if you can find this for me. The birthplace of Marie Curie. First person ever to win two Nobel Prizes, Marie Curie. Oh, Where was she good. born? What do we think at home on this one? We know it's somewhere on that map. That's the good news. OK, everyone's in. Rita, what are you thinking? Well, I just did the obvious and assumed that she was French, so I have just put her down in Paris. I mean, it feels like a perfectly acceptable guess. We, oh, oui, c'est Paris. Bien sûr. Yeah. Uh, André, what are you thinking? Well, I, <laughs> I was going to go for a full hello, hello accent there. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> um, I think she's French, but I also wanted to hedge my bets because I thought she might be a French-speaking Swiss. Let's take a look. Southeast France, absolutely, kind of Lyonie, Swiss border E. Gareth, what did you think? Yeah, I guess they would be in France. Paris, I thought. I don't really know how close to Paris I am, but I just thought in the middle of France. Let's take a look. Yeah, middle of France. Olga, we've got three people in France. Are you in France as well? For some reason, I thought the fact that her name was French is a red herring. And I've just put her in Poland. Let's take a look at where you are. That is Poland. Poland, France, France, France. Let's take a look, shall we? Where was Marie Curie born? So you were oh, born in Warsaw oh, in Poland, oh, wow. Olga. Very well There's something sitting in the back of the Awesome. Oh, very oh, God. well done. Uh -huh. oh, it's so good. Polonium uh, was uh, one of her... There you go. That was one of her big hits. Oh, Curium as well. Yep, Warsaw in Poland. Olga takes oh. the point there. Very well oh, done. Well done, Olga. The, uh, the red herring. Well done, everyone else, for <laughs> knowing where France is. <laughs> Nicely done. Tablets away, please. It's the end of that round. We have just one round to go. One round oh, until we give away a fondue set or an umbrella 
or a cricket bat. Um, let's take a look at the scores. It is anybody's game. Gareth, you still have four. Rita, you have six. We have joint leaders, Olga and Andrew. Seven points each. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go, Gareth. Come on! Come on. Let's have it, shall we? <laughs> uh, our final round, it's always the same, and it is. Answer Smash. There are three points between everyone, and don't forget an Answer Smash. A point for a correct answer, but a point off for an incorrect answer. So three points is nothing oh. in this round. Anybody's game. I wish you the very, very best of luck. Your first category is... Facial hair. So the pictures will be a facial hair. There'll be a clue above. And smash them together, please. And here's your first question. Which Channel 4 soap set in Liverpool ran from 1982 to 2003? Andrew. Brookside Burns. Brookside Burns? Absolutely right, Brookside Burns. Ah. Here's your next one. Which 1966 sci-fi film based on a Jerry Anderson TV series and named for its catchphrase centres around the Tracy family? Nobody fancies it. Nobody wants to lose a point, do they? It is... Thunderbirds are goatee. Thunderbirds are go and goatee. <laughs> Like the birds are goats. Uh, <laughs> Fingers on buzzers, everybody. Class. Is your next clue and your next facial hair. In which tennis stroke does the reverse of the hand face the same direction as the shot? Yes, Olga. Back handlebar moustache. Back handlebar moustache. <laughs> yep, is absolutely right, Olga. Well played. Oh, this is warming up. Here's your next category, and it is... Home furnishings. Oh, I love it. Home furnishings. More like it, isn't it? <laughs> love it. Um, you'll see a clue. There'll be home furnishings underneath. Please smash them together. It's very, very close at the top of this leaderboard. Which game show was hosted at different times by Terry Wogan, Les Dawson and Lily Savage? <laughs> yes, Andrew. Blankety blankets. Oh. Blankety blankets. Oh. Is the right answer, Andrew. Well done. Blankety blanket blanket. <laughs> Next clue, next home furnishing. Oh. That is the end of the show. Very, very close. Shall we find out who our Monday winner is on House of Games? Blankety Blanket wins it for Andrew Maxwell. Well done, Andrew. A one-point win on Monday. What a day. Well done, everybody. That was loads of fun. Andrew, you've won yourself a prize. Are you going to stick with a cricket bat? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Beautiful. Andrew Maxwell takes home the House of Games cricket bat. Congratulations, Andrew. <laughs> Let's take a look at our first weekly leaderboard. Andrew's going to be taking four points through to uh, our second day. Olga, three. Rita, two. Gareth, one. Plenty of time to catch up, though, through I'll the rest back. of the week. Uh, thank you so much. That was a load of fun. See you the same time, same place tomorrow. See you as well, same time, same place, on the House of Games. <laughs>